The question often comes up, where is God's dwelling? In one sense, as the creator holding all things in existence, God is everywhere. But in a particular way, God remains with his people in the Catholic Church. For we notice in the Old Testament, God dwells with his people in the ark. And what was held in the ark was the Ten Commandments in which God inscribed the law on the tablets with his finger. And obviously, we understand the finger as a metaphor of a way of speaking about how God's divine power acted and carved out his law on this stone. And this symbolized God trying to get to the hardness of the heart of Israel. In this way, the Israelites were attentive to God dwelling with them in a special way in the ark. For in one sense, they encapsulated a miracle or an action of God upon the stones where God set his law and how he established his covenant with his people. When they seen the ark, they did not just think it was some gold box as probably the pagans around them thought. But it was always this remembrance of God's covenant with them and God truly present in their life in some concrete way. Not simply existing in their thoughts, but this real relationship of true presence to true presence. And the Israelites came to worship at the tabernacle, which was this portable tent that they placed over the ark. And this was the place where God manifested himself and his will. And to help us see the linear process of these old things, which were a sketch of the new things to come, we see God in Christ establish a way to dwell with his people, a way where we can grasp his sacred presence, not in our thoughts alone, but again, true presence to true presence. This is why when Christ gave the apostles his body and blood in the new eternal covenant, the church understood it as a sacred way in which God chose to dwell with his people, encounter his people, convert the hearts of his people. For St. John came to understand God was love because God was truly present to his soul. In the Holy Eucharist, after the ascension into heaven and recording these sacred events, his gospel account reveals a heart that took Jesus at his word. In opposition to all who lied about Christ, not truly present in the Holy Eucharist.